Yo, Mike. <laughs> Jay Prince sent that thread out there and Diddy ain't said nothing. There's certain niggas Diddy ain't fucking with, man. Jay Prince being one of them. That's what that's being one of them. Cassie about to own bad boy soon. That's a damn shame. Cause I'm telling you, one thing about these women, these women who niggas is picking out there, when they take your shit, they taking everything from your black ass. The new ones, especially you meet, the ones you meet as soon as you get money. See, the ones you that you have, you came up with, they're not gonna take it all from you. You know, they're not gonna take it all from you. Like Kim Porter, much as she know about Puff, she won't take him. She won't take Puff to the cleaners like that. Kim stood on cold. Kim stood knew what the time it was. Notice this: when these niggas start meeting these new women, when they get money, they take all they shit. Notice that. Michelle left. What's that with Dr. Dre? None of Dr. Dre's old baby mamas is trying to come at, trying to take everything from Dre. They either take it to the chin, they stay silent, and go by their business. But Nicole, Nicole Young, his last wife, she tried to take that nigga down. Nigga went to a funeral, and she went ahead and tried to send him divorce papers at his funeral. Then, the bitch went as far as to try to take the chronic from him. Get the fuck out of here. You tried to take the chronic name from Dr. Dre? You weren't even in the picture when Dr. Dre was putting that out. Dr. Dre was getting starved out by Jerry Heller. And you sit there and take that from him? Michelle A wouldn't try that. As bad and aggravated as her voice was, she won't go and do that to Dre. But these new women y'all niggas meet, when they get money, they going for your juggler when they mad. Kim Porter won't go do that to Diddy. But look what Cassie doing. She fucking around. She taking this nigga down. Like, come on, fam. They have no remorse. I'm going to give you a good example. Even with OJ. You don't hear shit from OJ for his wife. She don't do no podcast. She ain't wrote no book. She ain't done an interview. She stayed out the way. But Nicole's family, they trying to take everything from that nigga OJ, even from his pension. They want that nigga to rot. They want to take everything that nigga do. That nigga had to steal his own shit. See what I'm saying? It's a different playing field. That's what I'm be saying. Y'all got to find a way to stick with the women that help you on your come up. Because even if things don't work out, you're not going to lose a lot. I'm going to bet you this. Michael Jordan first wife. Yeah, they had a divorce. He probably gave her 90 million. Michael Jordan's new wife, if things go bad, she going to go for the nigga Jordan logo. She going to go for the nigga copyrights. She going to go for everything that he owns. And try to take everything. Because they get ganged up from their daddies. And people within that business. It's a real deep rabbit hole, y'all. I remember Nas, baby mama Karma was almost about to put a book out on her Nas. See? See? But let Nas start getting with these Instagram models and shit. She going to put the first thing out. She going to put it out. She going to air this nigga whole laundry out. They might. Yeah, she only she did was just a Vlad interview. But other than that, she didn't do nothing else. That's why I'm blessed to have a strong woman by my side. Exactly. That's what I be saying, brother. When you... With, with the woman from the beginning, even if things don't work out, at least it'll be a mutual respect. Even if you got to pay her what she owe for helping you, it's not going to hurt your bottom line. But these women you meet as soon as you get the bag, they the ones that's going to take all your money, your royalties, your publishing, everything. I've seen it happen so many times, bro. 
and the <coughs> and the fucked up part about it is a lot of these niggas be preaching that, well, get your money right, you and the, and the women will come. You want the right woman to come, though. Y'all want trophies on your arm. And then, then, then you're crying when she take your money. She got her with your money, fool. They shout out to Lucario for saying that. Because at the end of the day, you using the money to bait her, but you get mad when she taking your shit. Think about that for a minute. Think about that for a minute. And those women are vindictive, man, because they got gamed up from the industry. Like, the sex industry and the music industry goes hand in hand. These women are gamed up. They daddies is, 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 is working with the label.